Let's take a look at Division Three. Last year, Wapakoneta got its first ever home playoff game. This year, with first year head coach Travis Moyer at the helm, the Redskins won a perfect 10 0, the program's first perfect regular season since 1986, earning them the number one overall seed in Region 10. Wapak will face the eighth seed, Oxford. Talawanda, who won its final five games of the season to finish 7-3. Bell Fountain gets the top two seed. Remember, Wapak beat Bell Fountain 28-6 in week one. They could be on a collision course in the regional finals. Redskins here in studio with us this evening as Matt is with the WBL champs. Thank you, Andy. So Travis Moyer, Wapakoneta head coach, just completed the perfect regular season 10-0 with Friday night's victory and number one seed overall in the region. How, how's it feel? That, that must be nice to accomplish a goal that I'm sure you set out coming here as a first year head coach at Wapakoneta. It really is. You know, our, our first goal was to uh, win a WBL championship and make the state playoffs. And we knew coming in that we had high expectations and uh, uh, we took each and every week as a step. And uh, fortunately uh, for us uh, to finish undefeated and win a WBL championship is a great accomplishment for our program. So you earn the home game in week 11. You'll take on Oxford Talawanda. Do you know anything about them yet? I know you probably haven't had too much time to look at tape yet. Well, we know at this point of the year we're going to see great teams and great players, and obviously Talawanda fits that profile. And uh, it's going to be a, a huge challenge for us this week. Uh, offensively, they like to run the ball. They've got a tailback. That's probably one of the premier players in the state. And uh, so it's going to be a huge challenge for our defense. But our defense has played exceptionally well all year, and uh, we expect a great performance this Friday. Uh, defense are a, a four-man front, so uh, you know our philosophy has been all year that we're going to take what they give us, whether uh, if they load the box up we're going to throw the ball and if uh, they reduce the box we're going to run the football so uh, we've got a big challenge in front of us this week. You got senior playmakers who are experienced and have, have been in this position before they played a home game at Harmon Field last year. What, what does that bring to this team knowing that you got guys like Cody Morgan and Keaton Metz to lead, lead the group? Well, you know, they've done an outstanding job all year for us, our entire senior group. So, you know, we're excited for the opportunity. Uh, we're excited to play in front of our whole home crowd, and uh, uh, we know it's going to be a great atmosphere. What's been one of the highlights of your season so far? I know it's a, you know, a new environment, and you're used to winning. What is it, 69 straight? Do you even know off the top of your head? <laughs> I don't know, but, okay. you know, but from that standpoint, you know, I've been blessed to be around a lot of great coaches and uh, a lot of great players. And uh, the, to me, you know, a lot of people want to talk about the streak, and to me the most important thing, it's, just, it's allowed us to reach our goals, a lot of teams. So. That's fantastic. Bell Fountain is the two seed in this region. You guys opened the season against them, 28-6 victory. Is that encouraging to know that the, the seed right below you is a team you've already taken care of pretty handily early on in the season? Well, we knew Bell Fountain was going to be a very good football team. We knew early on that was a good win for us. And, uh, you know, obviously that proved out uh, they've uh, had an outstanding season. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can meet them again. And final question for you, how do you approach the postseason? What's different about weeks 11 through 15 if you can get that far as opposed to 1 through 10? Because coach is always talking about taking it one game at a time, but when the games are this important, what's different for you on the approach on the practice side? Well, you know, we approach each and every week the same. And, uh, you know, I think that's the one thing that's proved out that, uh, you know, in terms of our consistent performance. And, uh, you know, we're going to take this week just like we have the first 10 weeks. And, uh, you know, obviously it's proven to be successful for us. And our kids have bought into preparation, you know, Monday through Thursday. That's extremely important. And, and uh, you know, so it's going to be a great opportunity for us. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Thanks for taking the time to join us here. We'll be out at the field on Friday as Wapakoneta gets ready to take on Oxford. Talawanda. Send it back to you, Andy.